A pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. But well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago. The land of my negativity, the land of my boat, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. In the month of in the month of August 2020. Brothers and sisters, I was watching a video on YouTube with my dear American brother, Gene Braxton, because I'm a Eric Braxton. And he is talking about his experience when he went to Kadadak, Kadadak experience, Kadarak experience, and he was pronounced that by the doctor whether for a couple of minutes and he said he went to heaven and speak with God the Father and Jesus Christ. And he wrote a few books on it. And he had a lot of TV shows, radio shows. A lot of people want to manage church every Sunday morning to talk about his experience. And I see that he put up one set of videos and he he is getting celebrity status because of that. And he's very popular in the community today in America, in the Christian community. But are his claims true? His claims is not true. His claims are false. Because the scriptures teach us that the saints of God, we will not see God the Father until the thousand years finish in the book of Revelation. And only at that time we will be able to see the Father. It's that way in the book of Revelation. The Father will be there and the Lamb, and we will see His face. Yes, we will see the face of the Father. It's said so in the book of Revelation. So how can He say, go to heaven and see the Father now? And Jesus Christ Himself. Can't you see that's a contradiction, brothers and sisters? It is a contradiction on the part of Gene Braxton, my dear American brother. I wanted to know that his little Christian brother which is also Eric Braxton in Trinidad and Tobago. I am not at war with you, my dear friend. Neither am I making these videos to declare war on you. But I'm just saying to you that your claims is total bogus and false. And don't mind, a lot of people are lapping it up like the dog is lapping up the water or that Kentucky Fried Chicken that they're given because he's having, he's been hungry for a few days. Right? And he's very starving. And the smell of that chicken, mm, he wants more and more and more. People want more and more of you. Because they have your, your list. They, 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 want to, they want to invite you so they can relax back and hear what you have to say about that experience in heaven. But you didn't have no experience in heaven. You think you are getting away with that. Or... Oh. But there are Christians out there like me and others who know according to the scripture that what you are saying is false and is not true. Some will say what you are saying is true. Some will say, Eric Braxton, envy the man or jealous the man. He doesn't have that spiritual heavenly experience. And therefore he's against his next American brother, Gene Braxton. So that's why he's making this video to attack. Um, Gene Braxton to attack his character, to attack his integrity, to attack, to attack the popularity and the celebrity status that he is gaining uh, and the book that he have wrote about his experience. These people are deluded, they don't know what they are saying. I am not paying more attention to them who are saying these things. But the few videos that I've recorded about him. I do not even know how much people are the, or watch these videos. I will have to go back. But the point is, some people will say that what you are saying is true. You already say what you are saying is true and your experience are general. Some will say that you have not had that experience like I. But God knows all, my dear friend. God knows all. And then again, you play, you will say you you are a pastor, my friend. You said that you.
You said that you died for a few minutes. Jean Braxton, take it from your little Christian brother in the Western world in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago. If you really taste that, my dear friend, you'll not you will not be alive to tell that experience. Because when you when you die, you doesn't know anything. So how can you really truly taste that in the true literal sense and yet come back to tell people that you die? You did you went any, went to any resurrection? The question is no. So you see, that experience that you had on the table wasn't true that. You never taste that, my dear friend. You never taste that. The doctor pronounced you dead. The doctor didn't pronounce you dead at all. You was alive all the way. All a while you was alive, my dear friend. But then again, you will show me, produce to me, and you already done that, the suffocate, and the signature of the doc, the signature of the doctor, and all the reading of the instrument, telling you that you are officially you dead. I know that is the proof that you have given to the 700 club with Pat Robinson and others, and they have endorsed what you say that you are truly dead. That's why they invite you to hear your story, and he's the one who did the investigation, and claimed that it's dedicated to put it to the world as genuine. My dear friend, but I want you to know Jean Braxton, Dean Braxton, that your story is not true. Your story is not true, my dear friend. I'm not saying these things because I'm against you. I'm just simply saying the Bible doesn't teach that. Peter died. Have Peter came back and revealed himself to the people? The question is no. Paul died. Did Paul came back and talk to the people? No. How come you die and you come back and talk to the people? And many are like you claiming they're dying and coming back and revealing that they died and went to heaven. All of the apostles died. None of them never came back in the time and revealed themselves to the people. You see, my dear friend, can you see there's a contradiction? So that experience that you claim to have, that was that was not true death. Look, Billy Graham have, da have died and they bury him. Did Billy Graham die? Before they bury him and he died, did he, did he really rise back and came and say, tell the people he died? The answer is no, because he truly says that. You did not die that way. So you see, so you see, something is not right, and I know. And you did not die, my dear friend. My dear friend. You did not die, my dear friend. You did not die, my dear friend. You did not die, my dear friend. You did not die. If you claim that you die and went to heaven and speak to God the Father and Jesus Christ, that's a contradiction. Look, even King David, a man who is already after the very heart of God, he died and he never even went to heaven. Because they said, it's not David and the sea polka is with us this day. For David is having a sin into the heaven, but is he conquered with us this day? Well, if David was a man so close to God, he should have gone to heaven. But if he went to heaven, the question is, oh, he's waiting for a resurrection. So you see? So you see the contradiction? So you see the contradiction that you are engaging yourself in, my friend? But you see, people who accept what you are saying, they does not know these texts. And even if they read it, they do not understand it. And it doesn't understand what the Bible really teach about that. You are quoting texts in the scriptures about that, but they're not explaining it in the right way. Because they're talking about the spirit in man, but they're trying to say that that spirit is a spirit being in man, no, that is the breath of life. So you see, you're not explaining it the right way, but you're quoting texts. You see? 
and all these texts that you are quoting in the script, quoting in the script here, is all of New Testament is not supporting what you are teaching them, that you die and went to heaven and meet God the Father and Jesus Christ, my dear friend. The Bible teaches us that when Jesus Christ was on the earth, people see him. He talk about the Father. He came from the Father, and he and the Father is one. Christ said he will go back to heaven. He's on the right hand of God the Father, as our high priest in heaven, making intercession for the saints. We come through him to go to the Father, because we can't go to the Father straight. The Bible says when Jesus Christ comes the second time, he will be upon the earth for 1,000 years reigning. And after the end of the 1,000 years, the Bible teaches us that God the Father will then descend upon the earth. And when the Father descend upon the earth, the people now will see God the Father and the Lamb in the, in the, in the holy city, which is New Jerusalem, that descend upon the earth in Revelation. That's the only time you will see the Father. Not, no one has seen the Father before that time. This is the teaching of the scriptures. But you say you went to heaven and see God the Father. You see, you are contradicting yourself. And I've laid the facts on the table for one and all to check it out and read it for themselves in the scriptures. And you see, you alone is not teaching that. There are thousands of people on the internet who have making that claim that they're going to heaven and seeing God the Father and Jesus Christ. And they are speaking to Michael and Gabriel and the rest of the like holy angels, man. And all these things that they are saying. But what they're saying is true? No. But on the putting it out in a professional manner? Right. But it's still not true. <laughs> it's still not true. And some of them are tears at the same time. 